Attention, ready to inverse the thrust power unit. <laughs> Officer Mutton, ready to attack planet Zutton? <laughs> okay, fire the missile. Huh. Oh, watch out, Officer Mutton! The Zutonians are attacking! Listen, Susie, stay put. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, mm. oh. oh! But, Mom, it's too tight. And it's, like, ugly. Okay, Susie. You can take it off now. Yep, an Apollo 28. Oh, so that's why Susie was trying on that spacesuit. So we're all going? That's right, the whole family. <laughs> as soon as I finish the rocket. Hmm. <gasps> yeah! Mom? Are you sure that Dad remembered to take all my toys? Yes, dear, don't worry. I'm sure he remembered everything. We're moving to Venus. Ready for blast off. Last call for boarding. Hi, I'm moving. We're gonna live on Venus, my whole family. You couldn't find anywhere closer? It's like four million light years away. My parents decided. My mom and my sister are trying on spacesuits and the rocket is in the yard. Come on, check it out. Wow, an Apollo 28 rocket with real reactors. It's great, isn't it? So uh, do you think the uh, people who live on Venus are nice? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know, it'll be my first time. And like, do you speak their language? Hey, don't worry, I saw this film on TV. To say hello, my name is Elliot and I am your new neighbor. The Venusians say, Gulerp. Gulerp? No, you have to stress the first syllable. Gulerp. Gulerp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to leave, I want you to stay on Earth with me. <laughs> you don't understand. This means that we will never ever see each other again. Hey, that's true. Uh, don't worry, we'll send each other letters. Here, take these. They're yours now. That way you'll always think of me. But Mimi, without your glasses, you won't see anything. Anyway, I don't want your present, Mimi. But, but why? Because I don't want to leave you two either. It's too hard. So, so then, then you're, you're staying? staying? Yep, I'm staying. And I'm going to tell my dad right now. Yeah. Dad, I don't want to go. I'm sure you'll love it. And besides, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the whole family. And you can help me finish building the rocket. Here, can you hand me the screwdriver from the toolbox, please? Hmm? So, what did he say? He says we have to go. That's horrible! Yeah. Except that we're gonna stop it! My dad won't ever be able to finish the rocket without his toolbox. This box is really heavy. Uh, it's the tools that are heavy, Mimi, not the box. So, where should we hide it? He'll never find it in the basement. And now, we sabotage the spacesuits. Smart idea, they're super ugly. Mimi, the reason we're sabotaging them is because no one can survive in outer space without a spacesuit. <sighs> ah! We need a secret code to open the cubicles. Your move, K2. It's a super complicated alphanumeric system. Hope I can come up with the code before it's too late. <sighs> Look, it works! The spacesuits! Yeah. Oh. Oh, no! Who did this? We did it! 
There's no way I'll ever move to Venus now. We're gonna stay on Earth. Just the two of us. Just the, uh, three of us. <laughs> hey, Elliot, you wouldn't have seen my toolbox by any chance, would you? Uh, no, but no. Well, doesn't matter. I've got my super multifunctional tool with screwdriver, flashlight, stopwatch, and invisible ink pen. One last twist with the old screwdriver and the rocket will be ready. Oh, no. Oh, no, look at that. What's that? Well, uh, your mom came into the room and I didn't have time to sabotage all the spacesuits. Sorry. Yippee! The rocket's finished. There's still gotta be a way to stop the... Uh... <gasps> Mimi, what are you doing? I can't let him do it. Mimi, come back here. Uh. Uh. Oh. I'll take care of the stupid rocket. Ninety seconds and counting to blast off. Eighty nine, eighty eight, eighty seven. Blast off in thirty seconds. Twenty nine seconds. Ah! Mimi, you didn't put on your space suit! But I don't have a space suit! Ah! <coughs> Hang in there, Mimi! We're coming with you! Hello, Mr. Kid. I'm here to pick up the rocket for our exhibit at the museum. It's ready. Let me give you a hand loading it onto the truck. No, don't worry about it. It's really nice of you to come along with me. Everyone take your places. Ready for blast off. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy, take it easy. Yeah, like that. Be careful. OK. Whoa. This is it. We're leaving Earth. OK, Mr. Kid, we're ready to go. We're in outer space now. <laughs> Captain, meteorite showers ahead. Officer Mimi, activate the anti-meteorite shield. Oh, uh, oh, uh, which button do I push? The one for the shields. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. I'll tell them Gulurp. Oh. Oh, you're the best. But are you really sure it's the right word? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we better use the ladder. Let's go. Oh. You can come out now, Mimi. Coast is clear. Nobody around. First thing to do, find a letterbox and write a postcard to our parents telling them we arrived safely. kids doing here? Dad, how did you get to Venus? Venus? What are you talking about, Elliot? We're in the museum. 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 The museum? 
On Earth? Yes, I came here to set up the rocket I built for the exhibit on discovering the final frontier. So Elliot and your whole family aren't going to live on Venus? Of course not. It's just a model for the museum exhibit. I was going to bring you here this evening with your sister. Didn't your mom tell you? Did you hear that, Elliot? The two of us are staying. Uh, I mean, we're all staying on Earth. <laughs>